Hello lovelies, I hope that you're all well and had a good week so far. I promised you all, oh, probably a good few weeks ago now to do a high-end haul because I really wanted to make an order with free people and finally I took the plunge and made the order. So I am going to be showing you guys what I've picked up high-end on the high street. It do look like there's quite a few pieces but a good chunk of it is actually free people which I'm still deciding on so you guys will have to help me choose what I keep and don't keep with that. You may be thinking this is slightly different, you're not on a tripod and it's a little bit more informal and that is because I'll show you now. So my boyfriend Ollie is an absolute sweetheart and actually saw my last video and got me this camera so yeah couldn't quite believe it but I have absolutely no excuse now but to do some more kind of informal relaxed videos and I thought I'd start kind of like bridging the gap and doing a haul as a more relaxed kind of feel so I'm just gonna talk you guys through the pieces in the mirror kind of show you all of them a little bit like this and hopefully you like it. Okay so we'll start with the piece that I have on this is the piece that I was most excited about from Free People you know when you have that one item that you just feel that you're gonna love it's in this really pretty very light lavender lilac kind of color and it's a bit of an odd material it's kind of linen but it's this again this like cheesecloth kind of thing almost looks quite rustic and then it looks even more rustic with these buttons which are wooden running all the way down the middle and then these ties you can actually untie and tie to kind of suit how you want it and how pulled in you want it i love the effect that this gives on the body i just think that it's super flattering here I'm not wearing a bra. Now, I don't usually like not wearing a bra if there's an item of clothing where I can't wear a bra with it. I usually don't purchase it. But this one I feel so comfortable without a bra. I don't know if it's the pleats or the thick fabric, but I feel good in it. So um, that wouldn't put me off at all. And then if I show you guys full length, it is a long midi and then you've got this gorgeous slip and it's just a lovely, flowy, really comfortable material. Just got it on with my little Castana wedges. Yeah, really, really gorgeous, pretty dress. And just to the side there. So the arms kind of like flow, quite open. And the back, if I can show you guys, just ties in again. Super flattering on the body. Fits really, really beautiful. I always feel like free people dresses look a little bit rough stick and rough around the edges, but when you get them on, they're just perfect. And I always did it in two colors. I won't talk through this one for too long because obviously it's exactly the same dress. I just wanted, couldn't decide on the two colors, so I thought I'd order them both and see which one I preferred. And I'm not sure, actually, I love how this one looks with the gold detail and like the necklace. And I think that this color, although not overly summery, actually looks so chic for the summer. Just really lovely dress. Sorry if that light shines right on me. I might have to turn that one off. Yeah, what do you think? I think the lilac color, but I'm not sure. This one's all so gorgeous. Doesn't it look lovely with like the tortoiseshell and the gold? Hmm. I want to keep them both, I think. Oh, which one? Help me decide. Purple or plum? <laughs> Can you see a theme here? I've gone for the same kind of dress again, but this one's in this orange. It's actually a lot brighter than it is picking up on screen. I'm not sure about this one because of the sleeves. They're just a little bit poofier than I thought they would be, and I'm not sure if it's too much for me. Really like the little bows on the side though. Again, it's quite deep V, and actually this one is a little bit see-through. I wouldn't be so confident wearing this one without a bra. And then these little tortoiseshell buttons are so sweet. It's midi length again, so quite flattering, but I think I feel a little bit too milkmaid in this one. I'm not sure. There's just something about it. I think I prefer the other two. Here we go. This gives you a much better idea of the color of that one. It's a much more vibrant orange than I was expecting. Now this dress takes me back to my kind of going out nightclubbing days. Unfortunately, it looked a lot less revealing on the model, but for me, the only place that I could wear this one is a nightclub. And unfortunately, that's just 
not what I do anymore. It's got this gorgeous stripe, which I absolutely love. It is super flattering on, it just ties around the waist, has a lovely frill, really, really gorgeous little dress, but unfortunately for me, I have nowhere, nowhere to wear this one. So if you're still young enough to be out in the clubs, I will totally live for you with this one. <laughs> So for anybody who hasn't watched some of my recent videos, this dress is the reason why I did a free people order. I fell so in love with it when I ordered it off of ASOS that I just thought free people is my kind of brand. It was this gorgeous nude midi again with a little slip. It's a slightly different material to the others. It's more of a cotton and it has this gorgeous embroidery all over it. Ties in the middle. Again, this one you can wear absolutely fine without a bra. I'm afraid it's slightly creased because I have been wearing it a lot. Oh, and also a little tip for free people, size down. I'm a size eight to 10, depending on the store and the item of clothing. But free people, I'm an extra small. And honestly, I have so much room in this one. Like, not it's not too big, but this is an extra small and all of the other pieces I picked up were also extra small. So just remember to size down. Next up is this skirt, ignore the top, it's just an old linen one, I think I got from Windsor, London, but this skirt is so cute, it's mini, it's got these lovely stripes, I love that they're all neutral so you'll be able to wear them with loads of different things, it's linen so it will crease and it's got these gorgeous tortoiseshell buttons and actually I love how they do up, they've got this big clasp so it's super easy, you know me guys, just want to have it easy, saying that I can't do it at 100 now. But lovely little skirt, really think that this is so sweet and it is not too short. I think it's quite a flattering kind of length. This one, I got in size four. So I'm not quite sure what size that is. UK, is that a six? Do you go up two or is it an eight? Anyway, really sweet, fits really nicely, not too tight at all. So gorgeous little skirt. Okay, so while I have the top on, I thought I'd show you these trousers from Cezanne. Now, they're actually the first thing that I've ordered from Cezanne and the only ones I just picked up this in the order, which I am so regretting now because I love them. I think that they're so flattering. They fit really nicely. I was looking for a trouser that wasn't a jean, something that I could wear summer to winter, kind of more of a high-end trouser that I just feel really, really good in. And these are so lovely. They're super flattering because they're high-waisted here and they have this little band with the buttons. And then there is this lovely long wide leg, which I think makes you look quite tall. I'm five foot six, but I think these are gorgeous on. And then I won't be able to show you the back very well, but they're also just super flattering, high-waisted and gorgeous from the back too. And I just have to give a mention to these shoes again. Honestly, how slim and lovely do they make you look? I love them, I love them so much. I won't talk about them too much because I went through them in my favorites video, but I wear them all of the time. They're honestly the comfiest heel that I own. The heel is super, super chunky, so you feel so supported. I can run in these, I feel so comfortable, and because of the way that they're designed, they are so flattering and like elongating on the leg. Love, love, love these hate my terrible toes, but love the shoes. Guys, I lied. I forgot that I also picked up this dress from Free People, but it was actually from ASOS when they had 20% off. So another dress from them, I'm afraid. This one is very, very low. Super booby. I'm not sure if it will be for everybody. I mean, you could put a little bit of tape there if you were around dogs or children or something and you were bending down and picking things up. But I love this one, I love the neutrals, I love the way that it looks. Again, it just opens up there slightly with a little slip, has these cute pockets. I love how these go the other way with the stripe and these really sweet little buttons. Again, the tortoiseshell, a lovely big free flowing arm, just feels super summery and gorgeous. Looks lovely from the side too. Quite long in length, I'd say. Definitely a midi dress, but I think that these are really flattering, just the way that they fall and the way that they fit. Kind of elegant, but young and fun. Sorry if it's a bit dark today, it's super gloomy out, but I just had to pop this one in. Excuse my bra straps here, doesn't look very good with the outfit. But this one, again, I featured the other day in my occasions dresses. 
I think that this is just the most gorgeous co-ord for the season. It's currently half price in the whistle sale and I'm just recommending it to everybody because it is so flattering and gorgeous. I feel lovely and comfortable in it. I have actually worn the skirt separately from the top already. As you can see, I'm wearing it with the kind of casual heels again and I think it goes so nice. I love how you can dress it up and dress it down. You will get so much wear out of this one, honestly. I just think that this is the piece of the season. Next up is this dress from Whistles. Now this one I think actually is currently half price in the sale, so such a bargain because it is such a cute little dress. Just think that it is so adorable. It's got this lovely cold shoulder to the side. It is quite high at the top, but I think that's nice because you could wear this for work. And then it ties around the middle with just this little kind of thread here. I love this, it's got little pockets. How sweet is that? Love a pocket. And it's also got this frill which makes it kind of feminine and gorgeous at the bottom too. You can't already tell, I just feel really comfortable and lovely in this piece. Something that I feel like you can wear during the week at work and also wear at the weekend and just get so much wear out of it. Again, dress it up, dress it down. This is another one that I'm just gonna talk about super quickly because unfortunately, I think that it is totally sold out online now, but if it is still in red or the printed version, I would get a ASAP because this is honestly one of my favorite pieces. I feel amazing in it. It just is the most flattering, comfortable piece. The kind of item that you're not like tugging and feeling uncomfortable or insecure in. Just amazing, cute little cap sleeve, really gorgeous at the side, fits in just here. Love the length and how it just ties around the middle. I can't recommend this one enough if you couldn't already tell. This is probably one of my best investment pieces of the season. If I had to wear one outfit for the rest of my life, I feel like this would be the outfit. I just feel so good in this outfit. It's definitely so me, but like the best version of me, the best smart version of me. I'll start off with the blazer. Oh, isn't it just so lovely? It makes me just feel super cool, super cool, cooler than I am. Um, it's actually, I'm not sure if you can see, but it's kind of got a lovely sheen to it. So it's perfect from going kind of day to night. Love the collar and the fit of it. It's that boyfriend fit blazer. Um, I love how you just kind of roll it up on the sleeves. Looks amazing. And then underneath, I've just got this little cami on. It's got a bow at the top. I think I might have shown you this one recently. And then these little polka dots, which is so sweet. The trousers are really flattering for some white trousers. They are size 10 and I wish that I had gone to a size 8 for these because unfortunately they are just like a slightly bit too big but I love how they're high waisted and they also just fit really nicely at the ankle there. And oh my gosh, these shoes. Are these just not the nicest flattering shoes? Mint velvet, so this whole outfit is mint velvet but mint velvet I think are so underrated for their shoes. They're probably my favourite shoe brand and I, I love their clothing, but their shoes especially are just my favorite. I think they're really my kind of style. So yeah, that is the full outfit. What do you guys think? Could you see me wearing this for the rest of my life? <laughs> and blazer number two, again, is just like the perfect summer blazer all year round. Looks amazing with a tan. Obviously, I wouldn't wear it so much with white because it's a very all white outfit then. Um, and this one's actually kind of an off white cream with these little ribs. I love the thread going through it. Again, it just fits amazing. I love how low it comes down here. I think that that's so flattering and kind of feminine because it kind of brings you in here and then it drops out slightly. Love, love it. So flattering on. I haven't had a blazer before and that's why I actually ended up getting two because I just really wanted to try them out and I'm totally converted. I now love blazers and want to wear them every day. Next up is probably one of my most worn items from this season, kind of high end high street. This is one from Karen Millen that you guys may have seen me wear already. It's on my Instagram. I'll put my uh, name somewhere for you for my Instagram because I always wear all of my outfits on there. I love the little sleeve, how it ties, and the frill bottom. 
I've been wearing it so much. I just feel like if this one goes in the sale, especially for you guys who have been like kind of considering it, honestly, you're gonna have to go quick because I think a lot of people have their eye on this one. Next up is this really sweet French Connection piece. Actually, this one I'm not 100% sure on. I still have the tags on this one because I'm still considering sending it back. I think I'm just not sure about this little area here. Does that quite sit properly? I'm not sure. Um, I do love the sleeves. I think that they're really gorgeous. And the rest of the dress just does that look quite right. I think it's because there's this little area here. I mean, you could do it up, but that really wouldn't suit me. I think it's supposed to sit slightly like that. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if I look, do I look too much like a schoolgirl in this one? I feel like I might, <laughs> but it is really gorgeous fitting, um, lovely material, very comfortable on. It's this kind of, is it seersucker? Can you see that around the waist? Which is really comfortable, but do I look like I'm going to school in September? <laughs> This next one was a bit different for me because I actually picked it up from John Lewis and I don't remember the make, but I'll have been putting all of the information above somewhere here. Um, and it is a gorgeous maxi dress. Really summery and pretty. It has got this paisley print through it and also I wanted to show you guys that little silver thread. How pretty is it? Just so pretty. I love the boho vibes. And it also has this just tie which comes in enough, but it's not too much that it's unflattering or vice versa. It's quite a nice little nip in and it just fits to the ankle, which I think is about where I want it. Um, I probably wouldn't wear these shoes with it, though I think they do kind of go. Um, yeah, really sweet. What do you guys think? I'm still kind of deciding on this one, but I think that it's quite flattering. On. I see quite a few women around London wearing maxi dresses and I just think it's such a lovely look for kind of when you want to be more covered up and demure but still something quite fashionable. What do you guys think? Is this the right maxi or do I need to keep looking for a different one? And then last but not least I thought I would finish on a good un and this gorgeous little dress. Of course, it is so me. White, all of this gorgeous detail all over it. It's kind of got a skater girl skirt, which is super swishy and lovely. Sorry if that made you feel a bit sick. And then these buttons, you can see just there, the little undercoat, but look at these sleeves. How stunning are the sleeves. Fits really gorgeous to the back. I'm afraid I haven't done it up, but it does fit really, really lovely on. Just think that this is the most gorgeous little dress. It's kind of more boho style for the white kind of eyelet dress, which I think is lovely, a bit of a different style. Although I have quite a few of these dresses, it's really nice to get something that's a little bit different. And I just love, love, love the sleeves on this one. I just thought I'd plonk myself down and show you some of the shoes quickly up close. So these are one of the ones that I was just wearing from Mint Velvet. They're in this lovely suede tan. They do up at the back, which I actually thought would be slightly uncomfortable, but it's not, they don't rub at all. And what I love about these is the little frill, and I feel like these three elements just make it look so elegant on the foot. Now you've probably heard me talk about these before, so <laughs> I'll try not to go on too much, but honestly, these are the most comfortable shoes ever, and they are more of a nude leather with this gorgeous chunky heel, and so, so comfortable, love those. And then these are some real newbies for me from Mint Velvet. They're this nude, which goes perfectly with my Gucci bag. And they just have a really small heel to them. So like with these two, I can run around town in these, but this is a more everyday kind of heel. Again, you're quite strapped in and it zips up. I will try and show these on for you in a second. And then I think I've also shown you guys these two. These are just from June and I love this buckle. I feel like they look really expensive and this squidge oh my gosh so comfortable i've already worn off the back there you can tell i've been wearing those wearing those quite a lot excuse my feet i absolutely hate my toes but these are them on they've 
kind of got this Grecian front to them and then they're just like the small little heel but again super elegant on the feet. Okay, so that was everything from my high-end high street haul. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought of this style. I'm really sorry if it was a little bit jolty or I was moving around too much. I'm trying to hold it steady now and it's really hard. Um, but yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments below and I will speak to you guys soon. Oh, and don't forget that all of the summer sales are starting now. So most of these items will be in the sale, probably at least half price. So I'll try and leave that information below if I can find that out and I will speak to you guys soon. Bye.